okay so in this lab i'll show you how to integrate azure repo with uh, jenkins right now uh, i already have a java application over here okay first thing what i'll do is i'll push this java application inside an azure repo so let's create an azure repo very quickly let's call this azure repo as java application and i'll initiate an empty repository and this is the URL of my repository. I'll copy it and I'll go to the CLI inside the same folder. I'll first do a git remote remove origin because I've downloaded it or cloned this repository from GitHub. I'll remove that first and now I'll say git uh, remote add origin and I'll add Azure repo as my remote origin or remote git server. And I can say git push origin master and push it to my master branch. This should basically bring the code to the Azure repo. Here is the code. Now let me copy the URL of my Azure repo. And now let's go to Jenkins. Now on Jenkins, what we have done is we have installed the necessary uh, plugins, all right, and necessary tools to build the Java application. So I can just simply say new item and I'll call it as a simple Java build and this time we are doing the simple Java build using Azure repo and again uh, we'll select Maven project and I'll say okay I'll go to source code management my source code management system is get and I'll put the Azure repo URL it won't ask for me any credentials since it's a public repository now I can go to the build section and inside build section, I'll say clean install package. So this command would be appended to Maven to do a installation and packaging of my application. I'll say apply, I'll say save. Next, I can click on build now. And this will build my application. It will clone the application from Azure repo. And it has started the build and my build was successful so very straightforward now next is whenever i do changes to this repository i want uh, azure devops or azure repo should invoke my build job in jenkins now for doing that you need to create a service connection so i'll go to project settings and i'll click on service hook Okay, so might get this error. Doing this, uh, you need to go to the home page and to click on project settings one more time. Uh, this error came previously as well. Should uh, few refreshes should do the work. Okay, after a few refreshes, now finally, uh, service of, uh, is asking, uh, letting me create the subscription. So I'll click on create subscription, right and over here uh, you should find Jenkins right so I'll select Jenkins over here I'll say next okay so uh, whenever the code is pushed all right I want that time to uh, basically uh, invoke Jenkins job so I'll say code push right so and I'll do it for this repository specifically so whenever there is a code push right to this repository then the job should be triggered so i'll require jenkins base url so i have an ip address i'll just put the ip address over here username is the beer uh, which i am using and it is asking for an api token get this api token you need to go to people you need to go to the user this is my user and you need to configure a api token so i'll say add token and i'll call it as azure devops token and I'll click on generate and this will generate a token for me and I can paste it over here okay so this is done I can say test and it was succeeded I can say finish and this does the job for me so now whenever I do changes uh, inside my Azure repo so let me do a small change so let's change uh, something in this file for example Okay, let's say this is version 0.1 and let me commit these changes. 
and as soon as I commit this changes, I should see a build triggered over here sometime. This will trigger the build for me. Here we are. So the build is triggered, and this one is triggered by Azure DevOps, or you can say Azure Repo. This scenario. So it is building the changes. So whatever changes we have done, it is building from that change. Again, you can validate that by typing the commit message. So uh, you should also see the commit message why this is being built. So there was an update in AppSec file. Let's see if we find anything related to AppSec. So, okay, I cannot see the commit message. Ideally, the commit message should come. Right, that's fine. So I would need to enable some additional logging for that. And that should basically trigger the build for me. So this is this has triggered the build. So this is how you integrate uh, Azure DevOps or Azure Repo with Jenkins. This is it for the slab. Thank you.